Hey, good morning, everyone. I, um, I've been, obviously with the elections, I've been seeing all these posts about, uh, we're not, this is not our president, or yay, this is our president, and oh no, we're, we're headed into trouble, and, and, and uh, we're headed into racism, and, and bigotry, and, uh, elitism or yay we're finally getting free and we have an American president let's pray for him and you know I have friends on all sides of the fence and um, and they all are quite passionate many most are quite passionate about this uh, president situation um, many of you that have seen my post in the past I'm not I'm not afraid to share what I think or share what I feel or support what I support but I would say in this election it's been I did not like Hillary and I did not like Trump and you can be mad at me for either and I know what both of them are saying they stand for but ultimately all sides Republican Democrat sides Republican side Democrat side Bernie Sanders side they all have freaks they all have freaky supporters and you know when I think about the um, supporters for Trump it's like you know you have these freaks that are like causing everyone else to think that oh all Republicans or all those that um, you know voted for Trump and uh, are like bigots and like don't want freedom and are gonna tell their kids about like the minorities are bad and send them back and some radical like nonsense um, and then and then you've got people that were supporting Hillary you know um, freaky people supporting Hillary that were just like ew like I think of abortion but I'm not gonna talk about that but I mean you know you talk about these people that support Hillary and they're they're acting like all all hard-working wealthy people wealthy people are just a bunch of greedy um, un-American people that aren't willing to pay for everybody else and they deserve they should be you know taxed more because they're so greedy and there's this pre representation of people that um, have money as somehow greedy or um, un-American <laughs> and I'm thinking you know there's there's freaky people on both sides and uh, since moving here to Corpus Christi seven years ago, I go to a church where um, it's probably one third black, one third white, one third Hispanic, and some, you know, we have some Filipinos, some, um, we have a Pakistani, <laughs> you know, like we have such a wonderful church of just equal parts of the, the large minorities here. Um, and so over the years, there's been many times where I did not understand um, what my Hispanic uh, family church friends Hispanic people were feeling or thinking and I'd be like why are they so upset or why are they acting that way or what are they doing um, or and so I'd go to them and I'd say hey you know I, I I don't understand why you're upset about this or why you think this or why you said this and when they explained to me their perspective I was like wow I had like I couldn't grasp why they were thinking or feeling the way they were um, same thing with my black friends. I, I grew up in a small town and I, Lon Schillinger it was <laughs> my one black friend and we had another uh, black guy, you know, two black people in my grammar school over the years and the one, Joe, I forget his name, but anyway, he was only there a couple years. And then when I went to high school, I mean, I didn't know maybe another <laughs> one or two black guys in high school um, that I knew. Um, but so I didn't, I didn't think racism was really that alive I didn't think racism was really still an issue um, and until I moved here I um, I didn't understand I didn't I didn't realize and then I by the way I lived in Hawaii and I, the white people are the minority there and it's mostly Asian and mixed stuff so there wasn't there's a little bit of sometimes I was picked on here and there for being white but they ended up liking me because I would pretend like I didn't know what's going on and I make them laugh <laughs> And but but once again, it's like when I came here, I started to see the real pain and the real perspective of what my black friends and their families um, have gone through. Uh, and it's insane. You would not believe it. Now, I'm saying this because 
I understand both sides now. I'm saying I get the people that are like, oh, yeah, Trump, they're believing that America's great again and, 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 you know, the Bible and pray. But, you know, you have a man, guys, you know, come on. He's been married how many times? He talks about women. He grabs their private parts. He's, he's far from godly. Okay, so don't all of a sudden think all because he's saying stuff and pray for me that he's some great guy. No, I'm not saying he's bad. I don't know his heart. Jesus says only God knows the heart. <laughs> so I thank God for God because looking at it, I'm going, dang, I'm not sure about this. And same thing with Hillary. You know what? Yeah, maybe she's this and she's that and she did what she did and, and, and she could have done better when she got our military guy. She knew about these, what is it, the people that were going to get hurt and she didn't provide help and emails and whatever. Okay, she looks, I don't know her heart. It looks kind of freaky to me, but I don't know her heart. And if she were elected, I'd be equally f kind of freaked out. Um, Obama, you know what? I love him and his family. I think they're a beautiful family. Um, and I'm torn on how I feel about how things have gone over the years because I honestly, I'm confused. I don't, I hear one side going, oh, wow, he so helped our economy and everything's great and thank God for healthcare. And then I hear equal side of he hurt our military. He, he, he weakened our uh, military because he was accommodating terrorists and negotiating with them. And, and so I hear these sides and I go, okay, no president, including Obama was perfect. And he undoubtedly had weakness or maybe failures or could have done things better. But that's really what happens when you're president. Can you imagine <laughs> leading bil millions and millions of people? Like you're going to, you're going to let a lot of them down. Um, so the thing that I've learned over the years is I really don't know as much as I think I know. And, and I think most of us don't really know what we think we know. And I would encourage you if you're like hardcore Trump or hardcore against Trump, to learn to have a dialogue and not be so offended by someone who doesn't believe what you believe because basically you're being a hypocrite. You want your rights and you want to protest and you want what you want, but someone else can't have what they want. So what's really helped me is going to those that I do not understand and saying, I, I really don't understand why you're supporting this person or why you're saying this or why you're believing that or why you're choosing this. And even though I don't 100% necessarily agree with them after, I'm like, oh, okay, I can see it. I can see where they're coming from. And it takes away that edge and that anger and that pride because what's kind of, not kind of, it's, it's annoying to me when I see arrogance on either side. Oh, well, let's be American. And, 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 and then they look down on the people that didn't vote for Trump like they're un-American. Um, just so you know, Trump supporters, you know, when I've talked to my minority friends in depth, you know what? They live and lived seriously being discriminated against. And you can say, oh, no, they're just saying that. No, no, they have been. And I, I, and I have a handful of people that I am going to interview. And you will see the firsthand reality of that racism and um, discrimination is alive and well. Okay. And, and I will, and so don't, don't think you're the solution. You can be the solution. You can say, you know what? I supported Trump, but there's no way I support racism and, um, um, what is it? Discrimination and sexism. And when you see it, you better take a stand and say, you know what? I voted for Trump, but you talk shit. <laughs> I don't swear, but I was copying somebody. So I was like, oh my goodness, you talk dirt about minorities or women or whatever. And I, you better sh be quiet. You know, I, I support him as a president because I believe he's going to, you know, bring out the values I care for, but I will not stand for, you know, racism, sexism, bigot, you know, uh, arrogance, stuff like that. And you better take a stand because you're either going to add fuel to the flame and create greater division in this nation, or you're going to help others gain understanding and come together. And those of you that are freaking out because Trump's the president, don't freak out. God's in control whether you think, believe in God or not. You know what? That guess what? When Obama was elected and all the people that didn't elect him were unhappy, guess what? They survived eight years. <laughs> they're still alive. And they weren't happy and they're complaining and now, you know, they're being arrogant and lame. And you know what? You can show them differently. You cannot be that freaky, weird extremist. You can say, you know what? I don't care for Trump. He freaks me out. 
I don't like the people that are supporting him. And when I walk into stores and I have, you know, I'm black and my wife's white and we get racist comments and I don't like that it's se seemingly, um, it's now encouraged an atmosphere of uh, racism and just, just nastiness, then then you be the one when they, when people are nasty to you to show them what, what real people are like, what, what real classy people are like, or, you know, show them wrong, prove them wrong. You know, I, there's been times when people have been nasty to me and I say, oh, can I get you coffee? And I ignore it and I'll say, hey, how are you doing? How's your family? And you know what? They can't, they can't, you know, and unless they're totally nuts, they're nuts. They're nuts. There's no talking to them anyway. But I would say most of the stuff I see and most of the people I've talked to, they're just ignorant. They're, they're, <laughs> they don't know. So why don't we show them how to handle nasty people? Why don't we show them how to, um, put the fire out. I'm not going to add fuel to the fire. You know what? Believe what you want to believe, but don't be telling everyone else. Like, you know, I, what, one of the things that kind of freaks me out by the, what I see as Hillary supporters is they're so freaked out and they're so nasty. It's like, you know what? He's our president and we don't have to like him. And, and we don't have to, um, say we agree him or, or, or like him, but he's, he's in for four years. And so what are we going to do even if we don't like him, to make sure that we work towards unity, we work towards um, peace instead of being so angry all the time and bitter all the time and throwing protests all the time, instead of saying, okay, he's our, he's our president, we don't like it, but we're going to pull together and we're going to work together because we're going to do our best to make this nation a better place. And, you know, if in four years he is what we think he is, at least we've pulled together and showed even those maybe on the other side that thought they supported him, why, who we are and why, what we stand for. Okay. And, and then you win people over because you're in, you're intelligent and you're level headed and, and you've shown a different way, a better way. Cause if he's so horrible, frankly, I don't see anything that's attracting me to the other side that doesn't like him. So I'm kind of standing in the middle, just kind of put my hands out going, whoa, 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 stay there, stay there. You know, like trying to be the referee, like guys, stop, you know, play nice because either side, I'm just going, they're both, I don't see examples on either side. So all because, you know, there's a lot of Christians that blindly follow Trump because he's saying, pray for me. And there's a lot of Democrats blindly following Hillary in that side because they support you know, people choosing their sexual identity rather than, you know, accepting what their identity is or thinking they're going to have greater financial support or health care. You know, health care, man. I've talked to both sides. I talked to one friend. They make 35 grand. They were being charged 800 bucks a month for health care. I mean, that's ridiculous. But yet at the same time, I have another friend that was paying $600 a month for their family and now they're paying 1200 because they have to pay for everybody else. So where is, is it? Whose fault is it? Is it, is the person who used to pay 600 now having to pay for somebody else, double their payment? Are they terrible? Cause they don't want to pay for everybody else's health care. No, it's about a messed up, jacked up system that we have to pull together <laughs> to figure out how to make it better because both scenarios are really lame. It's not fair either way. So it's not the poor person who needed Obamacare and finally can afford their insurance versus the person who could quote unquote afford it, but why should they pay for someone else's? They're, it's the, it's the system. Stop turning against each other. So anyway, I'm, I'm going on about this because you know what people, most of my people on my Facebook, I, I have good hearts. I can tell they might be crazy and <laughs> radical on either side, but I see the passion and I see the sincerity. And, and as long as we're sincere and we're willing to humble ourselves and listen, and stop clinging to what we think we believe and wanting to argue and be right. And no, you don't No, because you, you know what? You're going to learn something. And there's something to be said about the saying that says the older I get, the less I know, because frankly, that's a fact. Start, start dialoguing with those you think you can't stand. Start dialoguing with those who disagree with you and humble yourself and listen to them. Don't, don't listen to give a response or set them straight or win them over. Listen sincerely and start to see through their eyes. And then you won't be so angry and agitated all the time. Okay. 
and then you'll set an example and then we'll make a difference in this this nation then we will because then both sides can go you know what I don't totally agree but I really respect you and I can see where you're coming from and the answer lies in the middle let's work together you know so anyway we have a new president whether you like it or not and it's still our nation